The Lady with No Men marks a new step in the, in the history of portraiture, uh, not just for Leonardo, but for, for Italian Renaissance painting, perhaps for, for painting all over the world. This, this combination of erotic power and, and innocence that he, that he sums up in this, in this extraordinary portrait. It's, it's almost independent interest in, in the, the fall of light, the action of light, the physiology of vision, all kinds of other concerns, uh, and they lie behind what he's doing with the paint itself. Voltatevi verso di me. No, mantenete ancora quella posizione. Antonio de Beatis says she was painted at the instigation of Giuliano de Medici, who was a brother of Pope Leo X. So that would place the painting somewhere between 1512 and 1515, when Leonardo was actually living in Rome under Giuliano's patronage. But on the other hand, we have Giorgio Vasari, who in the late 1530s wrote a book called The Lives of the Artists. And he tells us that the Mona Lisa was actually the portrait of the wife of Francesco dal Giocondo, a silk merchant in Florence. So what are we to make of all this? There are many ways to respond, because Leonard opens the questions, and it's to us to find the answers. And that, I think, is one of the great secrets of Leonard, to be able to capture all the subtlety, all the poetry of life.